Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Well, it's Halloween today, so we have our end of the month videos to do. I am going to show you what I all colored this month. Doesn't look like that many books because I've just been in the mood where once I start coloring in a book, I just keep staying in that book with that coloring medium so I don't have to get anything else back out. Um, so, yeah, you'll notice a lot of tabs in, in each book. <laughs> Had to get some Belva family uh, time in here. So, this is one of their newer books. I apologize for the glare. It is starting to get evening here. Let me zoom in just a tad. So I do have to have my lights on. This one is from their Mystery Mosaics. This one is Arian's Vintage Collection. And I colored this one. This is all with my Arteza Ink Onyx, of course. And the telephone that was on the front cover. Look how different it looks when you do the X method or the cross stitch method versus when it's colored in completely. Of course, you know, the printed version is going to be a little bit different than if you would color it in person, but I like the look of both. And then this one. I love how these look. <laughs> And then uh, this one, who remembers the big boom boxes? <laughs> and then uh, this one. So, yeah, again, just going in order. So, yep, that one is Arian's Vintage Collection. Then I went to one of their older books. This is another Mystery Mosaics. This is from the Flowers book. And these I colored with the Arteza Twi markers. Isn't that pretty? I just love all the colors in there. I think that turned out so pretty. Then we have uh, this one. This is the picture from the front cover. Looks quite different in my version. <laughs> but I still really like it. We have uh, this one. Love the butterflies. <laughs> and then I did uh, this one with the lemon tree and I think that's it yep okay so again that was from mystery mosaics flowers by Belba family then we did do a color in chat out of Sally Berry's Halloween book this is one of their easy large print books and one of their newest that or the newest that they have out and we colored a witchy poo in here. We did this one. And I colored this with the Ohuhu brush markers. Thought she turned out pretty cute. However cute a witch can be, right? <laughs> and then I had a ton of fun with this book. This is by Sach and Sach Deva. This is another one of his mosaic art books. This one is Vintage Cars. And yeah, he has now come out with the 3 by 3 millimeter books, whereas before they were the 5 by 5 So he did come down in size, so the same size as what the Belba family books are. His, however, are easier to do than Belba Family. If if their books intimidated you, even though you know you like the looks of it all, you might want to give Sachin's a try because the lines are thicker. So these are easier to do than the Belba Families. So did this one, and these were all with my Arteza Ink Onics again. And uh, this one, 
This is really a fun, fun book. Can't wait. I guess he is uh, working on another mosaic three by three book. So can't wait to see what that one is going to be. And uh, this one, now it's not really a car. It is a vintage plane. But I love the colors in here. The, the teal and the blue that he picked out for the color palette, I think, are so pretty together. I just love it. And then this one. Kind of looks like a, a vintage Rolls Royce or something, right? <laughs> and that is it for that one. Then another newer book. This is from Kira Shershneva, better known as Color Relaxation on um, Amazon. Came out with a line, spots, and dots. This is the Halloween version. Love these kinds of books. You know that. <laughs> and all of these kind of one color books, I always use my... Um, Divicle dual metallic gel pens. Love them. Thought she turned out pretty cool. Now I do have my lights on and these are glitter or metallic gel pens so it is kind of kind of hard to see. I apologize. Here we have our kitty vampire <laughs> and our little skull down here in the coffin. Thought that was adorable. And we have our pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. Then another lines one. We have our bat and jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that cute? Oh, thought they turned out adorable. Okay, so that's all out of that book. Then out of Color Questopia, we have Halloween Horror. I believe now it's just called Halloween. I think they took the horror off. And I did, alrighty. Did a couple in here, I think. Yep, did uh, this one. Now, did we do this in a color and chat? I'm thinking maybe. I can't even remember anymore. Um, and boy, I can you remember what I colored these with. Probably my Copics. Most likely. And then uh, this one. And I think that's it. Yep. But yeah, another really fun, fun book by Color Questopia. I just recently showed these last two because these are brand new books that I got. This is another color by number book called Christmas from Such and Such Deva. And I colored the first one in here with my Spectrum Noir illustrator markers. Another simpler, easier book, but all oh, these are so much fun. <laughs> And then last but not least um, is another uh, Kira Shersneva color relaxation book, Line Spots and Dots, and this is the Christmas one. So she has the Halloween one out now, and now she just came out with the Christmas book. And had to do a number of them in here. <laughs> If you just seen the flip through of these books, um, you will have seen these pictures already. <laughs> our Christmas puppy, our Christmas tree, our stocking, and I thought this one turned out so so cool. We have our nativity scene. Isn't that pretty? Again, I apologize for the glare. Some of it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to see. I wonder how I, there, maybe that's a little better. Huh? But isn't that cool? Just from coloring in lines. 
And that is it for that book. So yeah, not too many books. But like I said, <laughs> once I get a book out, I'm going to put these two together. I just kind of stay with it for a little bit. <laughs> with the same coloring mediums. Don't have to grab anything new. Just, you know, stay with that book. So, so that's what I colored uh, in October 2020. Now, I am hoping in November, if I start getting things straightened out here in the house, to start actually getting at some diamond painting for the first time in I don't know how many months. So, the amount of coloring I do next month may go down a little bit from uh, previous months, but uh, that's okay. Uh, maybe in my um, end of the month videos, if I get uh, any diamond painting done, I'll show that um, in my end of the month video too. So it'll be end of the month what I colored and diamond painted. How does that sound? Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing what I all colored for October 2020. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.